Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, <laughs> guess it. You guessed right. There's another Victron Venus OS 3.12 available. Surprise. I don't want to bother you too much with us, but what are we going to do in this video? First of all, as always, we go through the changelog. Second, we will try to update my Raspberry Pi 4, which is my test unit. And if this works out well, then we'll continue with my Raspberry Pi 3. This is European, by the way, 3. And we will update that unit, which has connected more Victron or at all Victron components as well. Not as much as you might have, but um, I also want to address one thing, which is the setup helper and see if that one works out of the box again. And then I want to maybe talk about that really quick. And that's basically all I want to show you in this video. So we'll jump right into it. And the first thing we can see is this changelog. So this is a changelog I found online. Um, I also got a question where they find it. It's on the Victron Professional page. I do not know if everyone can access there or not. I years back got access, so I still have it and I can just download um, not only the versions, but I can also download uh, the changelog. So I received this changelog. Here we can see it, version 3.12 as of October 31st. By the way, I was surprised. I checked today after a couple of weeks after the last version and there's a new version and today's the 31st. Happy Halloween, by the way. So let's continue. Pretty, pretty cool. They added support for the new Victron energy meter, which is not even released or it is released, but not available as of now. So that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. I have not had my hands on it, so I have no idea how it performs. But it looks pretty cool. So, um, other than that, here we see add and enable switch for EV chargers and VE energy meters. Um, so that's new change to put in as well as add digital readouts as well. Start stop control of DSA generator controls. So as always, pause, read it. It's easiest to read everything because I cannot copy and paste everything in the description, unfortunately. Anyways, and then we have a support of DSE models. And the last point is fix multiplus two split phase two times 120 volt device screen shows large negative current. And they seem to have that fixed as well. All right, there's nothing new, nothing crazy, so no need to really upgrade, in my opinion, unless you have issues with, for example, the multiplus, or you want to use and you have already the Victron energy meter. So up to you, but we'll just do a quick run through so if this is too fast please always stop um, I still try to go step by step and I hope this is sufficient for everyone so when you have connected to your Raspberry Pi in my case Raspberry Pi 4 usually you just use a browser you have the IP address I like to do it via remote but you can also just go to your device when you have the display and do it directly there so I have my browser everything's remote so this starts here I'll type in the IP address in the browser then um, we get there here's the page so you can see there there we go there is some responsiveness and this is the is this the correct device wait a second this one is the correct one sorry this is the Raspberry Pi 4 my test device because I only have the one wire connected and the setup helper with the Raspberry Pi processor temperature available that's all so that means I'll go to settings then go to firmware and here we can see firmware version 3.11. That's the version I have it on. I'll go to online updates and I do want to have the latest release. And I can see already there is an um, update available, but let me check for updates again. Double click here and then update available. Press to update to version 3.12. We'll just do it. Double click here and then let's download it and install it. And then at one point we want to test, reconnect, see if something happens already. And indeed, there we have something and the setup helper is not installed why I was able to say that because settings was not on top with the setup helper settings is on top that's the default setting and set settings was showing on the last uh, yeah last row actually so let's see so it was probably a reboot for the setup helper installation we'll see in a second I wish I would have more Victron gear to use and test, but unfortunately, unfortunately I'm not living in uh, a huge house where I'm having a lot of yard and I can do whatever I want to do. Nor do I have a huge RV where I can put in all different Victron components in it, but that's all I have and that's what I try. 
let's see, yeah, there we go, see, settings on top. We have the one wires connected, we have the Raspberry Pi processor temperature available. That's part of the setup helper, so let's go to settings, let's go to firmware really quick. We have installed, successful, 3.12. So I'll go all the way down to package manager, and then we can see refresh GitHub version information. We do have active packages, and we can see everything is installed, which is good. Because when I click on pages, we see the GUI mods, for example, should be installed as well. And it is. Perfectly fine. No issues with that part. That's great. So I want to say I do not have any relays installed here on this part. So when you face the issue with the setup helper is not going to install or having issues with the installation, that might be, I, at least I experienced that in the past, that with the relays, there is a video out there about permanent relays or installation of permanent relays. Um, basically, in that video, I talk about that you use Setup Helper and you configure it accordingly, that you have relays which even last when there is an update. So they don't lose or, or you won't lose the relays. Um, that's one thing I can imagine is not configured correctly because it has a is it has a default path and it also has a user specific path where you save your file which defines the relays so that that's one um, guess i have i don't want to share but we'll continue we'll switch now to my production device which is this one and here you can see we have raspberry pi processor temperature as well we have a smart charger and we have a smart solar charger from victron so what does that mean? And also have it to dark mode so I don't get confused. Like earlier. So what are we doing? Settings first. Go to firmware. And we see there's a 3.11 installed. And now we go to online updates. And by the way, I didn't talk about that, but um, it's the image large in this version. And on my test device, it should be the normal image. So. We'll see. Let me check for updates. And we also have a 3.12 available. So let's go ahead and double click on this one and download, install, and then we'll be back. So installing 99%. And rebooting. All right, let's reconnect. And there we are. Setup helper is not installed yet. Happening right now, I guess. Let's reconnect. There we are. Yes. Set up helper install. It's dark mode setting here. We do have. Oh, fine. We have the propane tank back online. It's outside and it's almost too far, but it looks like sometimes it works. Nice. All right. That should be all. All on one page. Nice. Let's go to settings firmware and we have the version 3.12 installed. Let's double check with uh, Victron components, Smart Chunt. To go nice. All looks good. Smart charger. Nothing connected. Looks good as well. And we have the Raspberry Pi temperature. And pages. There we are. Yeah, it looks good as well. Let's switch again to settings. We want to go to the package manager one more time. Checking for downloads and install. I'll go to active packages and we see install setup helper, shutdown monitor. The Raspberry Pi temperature is installed. It's not installed. Oh, it looks like I didn't install it um, via setup helper. Okay. Same with the Raspberry Pi GPIO setup, which I mentioned earlier with the relays. All right, GUI mod, perfect. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, nothing new for me, it still works, it looks like. So that's good, I have not connected a display as of now, so I cannot speak for the display if that works. But uh, remote, everything works. That's just my configuration, how I have it. Um, let me know in the comments if uh, this display is a must have. I have to test every time as well if the touchscreen works and stuff like that. Um, so far, I've no, I'm not doing that. But if you're interested in that, 
please leave a comment below. I would like to see you like the video, and if I earn it, please subscribe to the channel. Um, Victron is not the only stuff I'm doing. Um, there is far by far other stuff as well with renewable energy, a lot of battery testing at the moment, and also power stations, as well as camping, overlanding, and uh, stuff with my Jeep, modifying and repairs. So stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers!